since the city started closing internet cafes across Jacksonville, Action News Jax has told you about four armed robberies at the businesses. Today, a security guard was killed as a man and woman robbed a location in Paxson. I'm John Bachman. I'm Tanika Hughes. Now, those two suspects on the run tonight. And for months, Action News Jax investigator Ryan Nelson has followed the city's progress in closing the arcades. He joins us live from Paxson now. And Ryan, the council member who pushed the, for the closures is now trying to speed up this process. And Tanika, about 10 hours after that shooting happened, we arrived just before noon, and we actually spotted a crime scene unit posted right here in front of the high score arcade. You can see that open sign is not flashing right now either. All indications are the business is closed at the moment. But earlier today, I spoke to Council Member Al Ferraro by phone. He tells me he is considering a bill that would speed up the crackdown on internet cafes, and he's not the only city leader who says something needs to be done to save lives. A man and woman are on the run, and a security guard is dead after a fatal armed robbery at the High Score Arcade in Paxson early Monday morning. Things happen like this is sad. The latest tale of violence at an internet cafe comes as the city cracks down on the businesses citywide. We told you when city inspectors scoped out 25 of the businesses running without permits a few weeks ago, new numbers from the city today show 12 of those businesses were shut down. All Jacksonville internet cafes need to get rid of illegal gambling machines by February 1st, 2020 to meet city demands or face penalties. And all the uh, people being attracted to these places because of money. I reached out to District 10 Council Member Brenda Priestley Jackson for an interview on the internet cafe shooting in her district, but I never heard back. Current at large and former District 10 City Council Member Terrence Freeman met me at the High Score Arcade to talk about the city's crackdown. So we know the city is taking action, but do you think it's enough right now? Right now, we have a process in place. We have a plan, and we're looking forward to moving forward with it with the hopes of making sure that something like this doesn't happen again. Neighbors hope their calls for safety don't fall on deaf ears. Protect the citizen of Jacksonville, you know, and try to do something to stop so much massive killing going on. And we did check with the city, and the High Score Arcade is operating legally at the moment. But again, all internet cafes have until February 1st, 2020, to get rid of their illegal gambling machines. Reporting in Paxson, Ryan Nelson, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jack.